my Bert Sperling here. I wanted to share with you some analysis I've done recently on gun deaths. And this is an important dialogue. I wanted to share with you what I found. I looked at the most recent data from the CDC on, on firearm uh, mortality. And what I found was interesting because there are actually three kinds of gun deaths. And a lot of times we just confuse all of them together. I think it's important to separate them out. It turns out that during the period in the last 11 years, 58% of all firearm deaths have been suicides, not murders. 39% have been homicides or murders, and 3% have been from accidents. Now, I think this is important because when we correlate gun legislation, stronger legislation means lower suicide rates from firearms in all but seven states. There's a very, very strong correlation between stronger legislation and lower suicide rates. Now, actually the opposite is true. When you look at murders, the places with stronger gun regulations actually have a higher murder rate for, uh, than places with lower or more lax legislation. And one can say, well, it's because um, that the, these are places that need stronger legislation, and if we did not have that legislation in place, the murder rates would be much higher. Other people could say, well, hey, look, it's not working. It's not doing any good. So that's why some people say what we actually need is more guns on the street, more people packing heat to keep the bad guys from doing bad things. Well, it's an area of discussion. This is a very complex subject. Uh, I've written a long article about it. Go to my website, bertsperling.com. Go to bestplaces.net. There are links below to the study. Uh, there are lots of facts, lots of graphs, some raw data for you to download. Uh, I'd love to hear what you think about the subject. And um, you can share with me and share with everybody else that reads. So leave your comments. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks very much for listening. Bye.